All right. It is 6.01. Wait to call the February 12th, 2024 meeting of the Woodbury Select Board to order. Do we have any adjustments to the Select Board agenda as published? Um, I'm trying to think if I put something on here. Oh, I just wanted to mention about the water testing coming up on Friday. Water testing. At the school? Yeah, well, at the school and the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. I don't know how far they're going. I know they want to come to my house. State is doing it, or is it privately the contracted? A uh, contractor with state help, I guess. I'm not sure exactly who does the water testing. Do we have more agendas? Over there by Michael. Sorry. Michael, would you pass one agenda down? Oh, here's one, too. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so, Miss Diana, that's Friday at the school, and part of the part of the basically the headwaters area. Yeah, I I don't know how far they're going. I know they're coming up as far as my house. For the PFAs. PFO, yeah, PFOA, PFASs. PFAS. Okay, thanks for pointing that out. I know. Well, they asked, for some reason, they asked Paul Cerruti if someone from the town would come along. And, of course, he recommended me because I'm the one that's always around. So I said I would do that. Thank hmm. you. Interesting. <laughs> Boy. Unless somebody else wants to do it. <laughs> no, that's fine. It's just I have been in touch with the school system for, like, forever to try to get to the bottom of this. And hmm. it's interesting that I've been entirely circumvented, hmm. which is fine. I was just getting done. Yeah. That's great. Thanks for giving me a heads up. Uh, we are in the process of approving bills and payroll orders. They will be finished uh, by the end of the meeting. Uh, do we have a motion to approve the minutes from our January 22nd meeting, please? I've reviewed them online. I'm comfortable. Yeah, I saw them online too. Yeah, you are. You also. Responded. Okay. So, can I have a motion for approval? I uh, will make a motion to approve the minutes. Second. Second. Okay. All those in favor? Aye. 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 We will sign them in a moment. Okay. We are now open for public comment for anything that is not on the published agenda. Mm. Hearing none. Uh, may we please have the town clerk's report? I called HCTV last week to see if they would come and cover town meeting. I haven't heard anything back yet, so I will call again tomorrow. Thank you. And I'm putting out an email to the justices of the peace to see who was able to help with ballot clerk on town meeting day, as in March 5th. And I was thinking we're going to have to count those primary ballots. I mean, I know the school ballots just go to Hardwick, but I think we have to count. You're not using the tabulator, are you? They got it all set up for me. Oh, you are using it. Oh, great. Okay. Yep, because I was oh, I didn't nervous about that because my card hadn't come back. Oh, they okay. came back late Thursday around 1.30 Thursday oh, afternoon. Good. Okay. So we're all set for the tabulator. That's mm. terrific. Yep. Speed things up somewhat. Reporting is on the slow side as of right now. And I think that's about it. What's on the slow side right now? The recordings. The recordings. Land recordings. Okay. Um. And Tim Higgins was in today, and he did the electrical in the basement and changed out the two exit signs. Oh, excellent. Did he remove that heater? Yes. Awesome. So we don't have to worry about anybody hitting their head on that. Great. And that um, light like these that was down there, mm -hmm. they used the pull string. When they were working down there the first day, it died. Oh. Oh, great. So it he's, what? It, it died. It died. Oh, good. Yeah. So he took that down, and he's got up a motion light now. Oh. 
So like if somebody's down in the basement, somebody else doesn't know about it, and they shut the light off, you still have that motion light down there so you can yeah. get over to the staircase and get mm -hmm. upstairs. Mm -hmm. And if somebody leaves it on... The motion light? Yeah, if somebody well, leaves the light on, it'll go off by itself. Well, it will as after so many minutes some... anyway. That's what I mean, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. This is just that one light that had the pull chain. The yeah. rest of them are on the regular light switch. Oh, okay. Switch. Okay. So you still have to remember to turn them off. Yes. <laughs> Excellent. Oh, that's great. Um, Mrs. Turkey, in terms of what you know, do we need anything else for town meeting day prep that we haven't already started to address? Are we in reasonable shape, do you think? I think we're in good shape. Okay. Yep, the ballots came in. Okay. So if anybody wants to get an absentee ballot, we have the envelopes in the ballots now so we can get them mailed out. Great. So with it being Saturday, is the the WES, the friends, would they still be holding the kitchen and doing Good question. I heard mention of it, and I haven't really heard confirmation 100%, mm -hmm. but I will get confirmation. I hope so. Um, yeah. We'll probably, we'll need to know soon, I assume. Mm. We have some time, mm -hmm. but yeah. it'd be nice if um, it, it, it tends to work. It worked out really well last year. Yeah, it did. Yeah, it was great. It was great for the kids, too. Mm hmm. So. Yes, yep. Yeah. Yeah, well, I have to be recognized. Oh, yeah. By the, okay. board, by the board. Skip, please uh, go ahead. So, on that note, I got an email from John Reed. So, today I posted the uh, town report and I posted three meetings one for the pre town meeting, one for town meeting, and most importantly, one for pie breakfast. Okay. For two town meetings, right? That's correct. Yeah. The pre town meeting. Freetown, and then Saturday, the and then Tuesday. Tuesday's an election, right? It's not really a town meeting. It's it? town meeting day. Well, but it's it's, no, it's a, the presidential election. Right, but it's, it's also the school vote. It's the school vote in the primary. I wasn't But we to do don't that. know for sure if the school vote is happening. We just well, don't mm -hmm. have any answers yet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I think you're fine to not have addressed that. That'll have to come out separately anyway. Yeah, so as long as you didn't forget pie breakfast, we're good. That was right. the first thing I. <laughs> Thank you, Skip. Appreciate that. Yeah. All right. Can uh, I talk about uh, what I wrote here? Mm -hmm. um, since the electrical work um, in the basement is not flood related, I mean, at least the lighting and the plugs, I had uh, been lobbying to have some money spent on that so that the space could become a little more usable in the future rather than just, a, you know, junk storage. And so I'm going to suggest that and it won't be covered by ARPA or insurance. So I was going to suggest that we allocate $2,000 towards that electrical expense and fixing the bulkhead door. Yes, I've been looking at that. That's it's kind yeah, of it's yes. pretty bad. There's no insulation. Yeah, so I don't know if it all can be done for that amount, but it would be a start. Um, I'm not sure that I should be involved in making the decision mm -hmm. only because Tim did the work. It feels a little mm -hmm. weird. So maybe I'll just bow out of this one and mm -hmm. let you guys decide. I know he already did the work, so, you know. Right. To throw in the mix, there's actually $7,599.87. Oh, I thought it was... <laughs> How much? Whatever. So it's more. It's better. Yeah, really. <laughs> How much, But Brandy? didn't you see the... $7,599.87. Seven thousand five hundred ninety-nine. Eighty-seven. Eighty-seven. Did you see the same notice that I did that recommended that we get all the ARPA money put out by you know dedicated by March so you don't it's just one less one less recording. Yeah, I don't like two pots with the whole FEMA. Yeah, because FEMA and ARPA are yeah, from the same. Get I'd rather just get rid of get the ARPA done. Yep. So we'll look at what else we can spend the rest of that four thousand dollars on. Good. Do you want to revise your number, Diana? No. Well, I I don't know, but uh, Robin told me she got an estimate about fifteen hundred dollars for the electrical work, mm -hmm. 
And the door, I mean, we really should have a full door put in there at the bottom of the bulkhead rather than that big old ugly thing. That... And it probably should be an insulated door too. I yeah, really. So. Yeah, so let's put another $500 in there. Let's say 2500 So I make a motion that we allocate $2,500 of the ARPA money to put towards uh, renovations in the town office. I'll second that motion. Uh, there's only two of us. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. $2,500 will allocate for mm -hmm. work that's already done as well as... <laughs> Um, <laughs> not all of them. No, not, not, not all of them. <laughs> um, and the bulkhead. <clears throat> and the bulkhead door replacement. So that leaves Which you're going to look at. $4,000. Thank you. Sometimes you just have to put the cart before the horse. I, I mm -hmm. totally understand that. <laughs> yeah, actually, you're just approving paying for what you do. Uh-huh, right, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Skip over that. <laughs> uh, whatever. <laughs> all right. Ms. Anna, do you have anything else that you want to bring up? Not under that, that one, that? no. So this 6166 is wrong. It's actually 759987? Right. Yep. Okay. So now there'll be now a problem. And now it's going to be less 2500 I'll dig out the list of other requests that we had. So that leaves us with a little over five grand in there. Oh, I could ask that. Well, Outside I'm, just, I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm just saying there's, there's, there's a number. <laughs> windows. Good, good luck with getting any windows or painting done for $5,000. Yeah. <laughs> good pressure washing. Yeah. Hello. Hello. All right. Um, okay. Uh, Miss Brandy, may we please move on to the town treasures report? Yes. <laughs> Reports. I've given you income for the last three weeks, cash receipts taking in ninety three thousand six hundred oh, six hundred sixty seven dollars and eighty five thirty eight cents. Delinquencies over the last three weeks nine thousand three hundred forty four dollars sixty two cents. Uh, payroll fifteen thousand forty three dollars forty two cents. Accounts payable one hundred and fifty three thousand. Nine hundred. Right. Nine hundred I think I missed did that. Can I see AP please? Or tag on your right. Chris? No, nope, big big fat. Yeah. That sounds really, really high. Now. It does sound awfully high. <laughs> by comparison to where we, where we usually are. Right? <laughs> because it is right, it's right. $153,939.06, in which $120,651.78 went to the fire department for um, the flooding from uh, VLCT. Um, can so you just repeat that last, the 120, what is it, 120? 120, 651, uh -huh. 78. Okay. So we're just the carry over. The checks were made to us. I cut them. Oh, that's right. That's right. Because everything I went through us. I forgot about that. Yeah. That was the amount for the fire department, you that's said? That's what they got from no. the LCT. Yeah. Okay. I'll give that back to you, Chris, for the other two yeah, sections. Super. Thank you very much. Thank you. Um, I transferred 23000 to cover to help cover today's expenses. Um, other goodies. Other goodies right now. I've given you Swenson's report. We just received our quarterly. Um, and that was a deposit of $6,436.50. Dispersed. Um, so, yeah, I'm not that, starting with, yep. Surprised that number's not higher. Yeah, me too. Um, with all the stuff that they're doing, I mean, so there's, it's going to be a little bit different this year than it has the last couple of years because the quarry was open in the winter for the last 
four years. And it's not this year? It's not this year. Really? Yeah, all those guys are furloughed. With uh, the exception of what? They're furloughed. All those guys are furloughed with yeah. the exception of the other own. And they're still bringing blocks down? They're still bringing blocks oh, down, okay. but they're not actively quarrying. And oh, the block okay. rate that's moving out of there is a lot lower than it would have been had they been mm. quarrying. Uh, so they're just using net stock. Mm. But there is a contract right now with uh, McCullough to move crushed stone. So they are moving crushed rock out of there. So I'm not surprised the number's low. I'm surprised it's that low. But I can indirectly ask about that. Did they get a crusher? No. Oh, okay. They're moving it out of there. And McCullough and crushing it? They're getting it basically, they're, they're breaking it. They have a breaker there. They're moving basically grout into yeah. smaller block sizes that they yeah. can actually put in an excavator and get in the truck. And then. So where McCullough does McCullough come in? Is the they're the ones who are, they subcontracted people to move the material. Okay, okay. And then, and then they, they have and then a crusher, McCullough right? is doing all the crushing on site for, on their own. So on there's the, no crusher there. Right, not on, not on the quarry site though. They're trucking it. They're trucking it to, to their, their, their site their, for their, their crushing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're doing their own work independently. And then they'll sell it for, you know. A lot more. Lot more. <laughs> 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 yeah. Take a lot of energy to crush it. <laughs> Let's be honest. So do we have a price for grout? I don't know what the contracted price is that they made for grout, to be honest. I can find out. Do we might, do we buy grout? We don't buy anything from No. no. I, I just think what Robin's but asking is we have a contract for usable granite that they haul down. That's where the money comes from. But yeah, so no. we I don't know if we have oh, I, don't, I don't know no. if we have a value for, for crushed material. So are they not paying the same price for those loads as they are for the blocks? Well, the blocks they, are based, they base their poundage on the square footage. On the square footage of the blocks. Usable. Yeah. 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 So is this cubic? So this ground is all usable because they're taking it someplace and getting it crushed and putting it in Alfie's Road. Right. Yeah. It's so it's usable. That's it's an interesting a, question. It, it, would be a, it, it would be a different contract price and I don't know what it is. So we'll have to, we'll have to figure it out. Um, yeah, still, still. I have to go back and Let look me, at the uh, permit condition and see what it says. Yeah, I will. I'll chase it. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Randy, is the 0 .065 is that what we're paid per cubic yard or cubic foot? Cubic foot. Cubic, cubic foot. foot. Okay. Every feet. That. Only a slight conflict of interest. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, Ms. Brandy, anything else that you want to bring up? All right. Sounds great. Thank you. All right. Uh, Ms. Diana, you brought the cemetery mowing contract. Well, we um, got a, a email, I guess, and you probably all got it from the Cemetery Commission Chair, Susan Stately, asking whether the town needed to be involved in the mowing contract. And it's my recollection that we used to do the mowing contract, that the select board would approve it, and Brandy would do the RFP and all that, because the Cemetery Commission didn't want to be involved. But now the Cemetery Commission does, and they should, and that's a good thing, and I don't know why we don't just let them do their own thing. And They can as long as the insurance is to spec what it needs to be because I'm paying it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So I mean, they have to go so by not, whatever not, the rules are. Right. I'm sure they'll, that, they'll probably ask you for what contract you use and so they don't have to write everything well, themselves. The yeah. Yeah. And I said, yeah. Yeah. And then you'll just do it. Ours is up also. Yeah. So we also have to go out to bid for that. Just for, for the town green and that yeah. kind of thing, yeah. Okay. Is it likely that we'd get a better price if we lumped it off with the cemetery stuff? Mm, I think it's going to be more expensive if we, but I, I don't know. Cemetery work is pretty more detailed than, you know, just mowing yeah. out here or mowing our yard down below. So yep. we might even be able to get some local people to do that. Right? <laughs> 
No. As long as they have workers' comp and oh, coverage. Oh, coverage. That's yeah. what we get penalized for. Yeah, we'll get, we'll, we'll, we'll get caught. I get slapped. Yeah, we'll get, yeah. we'll get busted mm. up for that. Can't do mm. that. Can't do that anymore. Um, so well, I'll put together something. Um, I'll bring up the old RFP and if I'll bring, send it to you guys whether you want something tweaked. Because we're going to have to change the description a little bit. No matter what, yeah. Yeah. So, and get that out because, yeah. And then we can put the ad in, yada yada, and do all that goodies. Mm. <laughs> yeah, don't put that in there, yada yada. <laughs> <laughs> How do you spell that? <laughs> Uh, I, okay, so uh, we won't make a decision tonight, but we'll wait until we. Um, no, I just wondered whether whether well, I mean, what she was asking was whether we the board needs to be involved in approving. No. Do we need no, to be? No. Yeah. We just okay. always. So that was, we just always no. have okay. been. Correct. Right. Right. But that was because. Yeah. It's because they asked for us to be. Right. Now there's a whole new cemetery board, so. No, it's great. They want to. Yeah, yeah. it's wonderful. Because they weren't happy with the last one, so yeah. Good. As long as they're going to pay attention to West Woodbury. Mm -hmm. yeah. Which has required some pressure sometimes. Mm -hmm. uh, anything else on that, Miss Diana? I don't think so. Okay. All right, moving along. Uh, Mr. Larrabee, could we have the Road Commissioner's report, please? Uh, yeah, we're in our second month's season, I guess. <laughs> It does sound like it's going to freeze up, so I'm going to try to go out tomorrow morning with a grader and fix, or at least cool down some of the worst ones. Thank you for fixing down here. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it was, I'm sure it, it was won't last. It's still laugh. frozen, so it wasn't much we could do, but yeah. it did make it better. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we have a new truck in service. Ooh, um, okay. All ready to go. It'll be out on the road tomorrow probably with mm -hmm. sand. Mm. So we got some snow coming in, so the forecast says. Um, so that's all all set. We had to put chains on it and we got I bought some running boards, sideboards for it, uh, which we're painting. It's drying as we speak. Mm -hmm. uh, so we'll be putting them on. And that's like the last thing we have to do to get that in service. And whose uh, truck is that gonna be? Well, it replaced, it replaced Timmy's truck, oh. so I guess it's his truck yeah. for the time being. So yeah. I'm sure he'll share. I mean, how do I, how do, I <laughs> do any otherwise? Joe's leaving. Yeah, so. And I drive the little truck, so, yeah, so. I honestly can only drive one at a time, so. <laughs> uh, <laughs> don't have much choice there. No. Um, sand piles holding up fine. Everything is salt. We got plenty of it. Uh, as far as I know, everything is going smoothly. We did buy, I bought some chains for the grader because they were different size tires than the old grader. Mm -hmm. So I got a, I shopped around and I got them cheaper than the dealer we ordinarily buy it from. Mm -hmm. So I saved $200 a set. Uh, so that's $600 that we saved. And they're the same, same chain, same iron, same, they deliver, everything is the same, mm -hmm. so. Um, the, I've pretty much got the old one ton, the old 550 stripped down, parts that I want off of it. Um, so I was going to ask the board about proper way of getting rid of it. I have a couple people interested in it but I don't want to be accused of favoritism. So I'm thinking maybe we should do like a silent bid process or something. I mean, I'm open for ideas, but I just, I want to be above board. I mean, there's, yeah, it's not a huge value, mm -hmm. but it is town equipment. And yeah. I think people need to have a fair mm -hmm. shake at who pays what and mm -hmm. who ends up with it. Are they coming to you with offers, or are they just interested? Uh, they've just been to... sort of interested, not, I haven't really heard any mm. 
mean, it, I haven't started the auction yet, so. <laughs> <laughs> but I just, yeah. I'm kind of looking for your guys' input on what's right there. Mm -hmm. Ms. Brandy, in the past when we've moved vehicles to a private market, is there any protocol that we've used consistently? Not really. No, I mean, we haven't, has, that hasn't come up to me in the past 11 yeah. years, so yeah. Okay, so answer so mm -hmm. trade. Yeah. Yeah, we always trade. We almost always trade. Mm. But whoever buys it gets the car up on the hill. Everyone get one free. That's right. Yeah. Go up and get it. Call it down before. I mean, I just you know, I just don't want. I like it. I like the idea of a silent bid. The only question is whether or not we should we should advertise it. We'd have to, right? I heard it defeats the purpose. Yeah, well, right? Sure, it's more money. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was money we have to spend to to, to do it. But mm -hmm. can we it just might, do it? it might, can you just it, do it in, on Front Porch Forum? Yeah. It doesn't cost. You can have site. Site. Town website. Gary Clark site. Facebook. Yeah, like let's we could do it. Just do it yeah, we could do outside it. the town office. We could do it cheap and digital. There's yeah. nothing that says that we have to publish it in the newspaper or something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that would basically mitigate the cost. It might also open the pool to a few other people who want to, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. you know, jump in. Maybe. Is there a, right. is it drivable? I mean, no. Yeah. So you can't like drive it down to the town office and put a for sale <laughs> sign on it? Uh, well, there's no antifreeze in it. <laughs> oh, so well. it might make it that far. As long as you shut it off as soon as you got there. <laughs> uh, but it's, yeah. not, it's not something you would okay. drive very far. Um, yeah. Mm. I mean, we've been starting it to move it around the yard a little bit, but yeah, but you wouldn't want to. I wouldn't want to take it. No, I don't see it for sure. <laughs> but you know, if we if we post it in a couple places, like on the bulletin board at the town office and front porch forum, and I don't know if there's any other spots, but well, just, there's a just, to, page, just to so. get it out mm -hmm. to the people so everybody gets a fair chance, mm -hmm. and we can say, no, we advertised it. Mm -hmm. and yeah. Yeah, I tend to agree. I like that idea. I agree it as well. So yeah, okay. putting it in a neutral place though would be a good idea because then we well, can put it in the glass down on the bulletin board in the post yeah. office. The truck. <laughs> the truck. The truck. <laughs> <laughs> you said it's a board though, right? Put it on a sandwich a board. Yeah, I could make it small enough to fit inside yeah. of it. <laughs> <laughs> So if people want to come to look at it. Water just to get it down to the town office and then drain the radiator. Uh, that's a lot of work. Okay. Yeah. I mean, it would most likely would be empty before you got there. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. But then you're also spilling. Yeah, leaking it like I said on your way. Oh, I just think I'm just playing on the water. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I. In the summertime, I would do that. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. in the wintertime, I, you know, because mm -hmm. the motor's still good. Somebody has oh. to use some of the motor. Yeah, some of the but if we put water in it and it freezes, yeah. the motor's no good. And the motor's trash. So you want to write up a little I set of write specific up the specifications? Yeah, the information of yeah. the vehicle and uh, sort of explain a few of the things, the major things mm -hmm. that are wrong with it, just mm -hmm. so that people know what, what they're getting, some, what they're what getting, they're getting into. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I honestly don't expect a lot of money, but one dollar could create a problem for taxpayers. Sure. So I, yeah. don't want, I don't want that. Could you put in the write-up that it's at the town garage so people can go there and look if they want to? And say a specific sure. time that... Yeah. I mean, if, if you think it's better at the town office, I can probably get it there, whether I tow it or, you know, if it's... But then we're plowing want? around it. Yeah. And looking, right. and everybody's looking at it. It's mm. sort of an eyesore, mm. I think. Oh, I think we should have a deadline. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I'd rather, I'd personally rather leave it up at the town garage, mm. and that way, if, pe if people, if people have a, there's a time, if people have yeah. questions, they can arrange with someone to come and take yeah, a look at it. I'm not hard to get a hold you know? of, people can reach me. To so I'd rather it be that way. And if the gate's closing, people can walk in, they can still walk into the yard, right? Yeah. If they come by on a Saturday or something. Well, most likely, people that are interested are going to want to ask questions. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, they're right. Gonna, you know, they're going to want to call around a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, I'd rather it stay up there if you're yeah. comfortable with that. I just sure. think it makes more sense to me. Yeah. Put it in a place that's conspicuous and. Yeah, but I do like a deadline because I want to see it gone. Everybody mm -hmm. wants it gone. I mean, it's mm -hmm. just you know. 
It's in the way. It's in our way. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Send me the right. I'll put it on the website. So. Thank okay. you, Skip. <laughs> That's wonderful. Okay. Um, what else? Did a little bit of work to the 550. Uh, just small things. Uh, but that's all up, up and ready and uh, fitted to our needs. So we use that for the salt. And it's running okay so far for your truck? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's running good. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, I've got the rate hooked up for maybe tomorrow or if it, whenever the next warm up is, I can rake some of the ruts out and that helps get it just mm-hmm. at the right time. So I've got that hooked to the 4900, which still runs and goes. And so between the rake and the grader, I think we can smooth it out a bit. Smooth it out some before it freezes completely. Awesome. Not that it's not going to warm up again. Yeah. Hopefully we can get a few days of of it being smoothed out and frozen. It's supposed to snow on the weekend. Supposed to snow tomorrow, yeah. about a half an inch or so, oh. and then mm-hmm. again Thursday. Yeah. South of us is getting hammered, but we're going to Boston make it closing off. school already. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What's the window that you have for smoothing those ruts? Is it like once it starts to firm up, but before it's frozen solid? Yeah. And that's it. Once it's frozen solid, it's done. Do. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. It's, I'm gonna I'm gonna have tomorrow to do it. Yep. Uh, it's only mm. supposed to be like 20 degrees tonight which is borderline. Uh-huh. If it gets to that, it might be too hard already. But mm-hmm. uh, I'm going to try to make an effort. There are some spots that, uh, you know, I can haul gravel to it, but even my gravel bank is frozen right now. Oh. So then you get chunks and it comes out hard. It comes mm-hmm. out of the body hard and it's not really conducive. But uh, so hopefully tomorrow I can get a lot of it shaped up and then we'll freeze and we'll hold. Until the next time. It cross our fingers. Yeah. 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 Uh, any questions? Uh, I just have a question. So I have this from Randy. It looks. Did you did you create this or is this just oh, the no, one this that? This is your version. Yeah. Credit. Um, I'm looking at the road crew timesheet. Sure, yeah. I guess this is your version. Just printed the way I, that it was supposed it to come out. So it could be. Um, yes, yeah, so it has the dates removed. It has, of course, those were always digital that the name would pop in, and the date would do it automatically, so I removed those. I, cha- I have to change, I did it manually, the miles per hour because it's different from like three years ago. But other than that, hmm. yeah. do you, you need to modify? Yeah. If you I do need it. Okay, okay. Some work, yes. Just other. Yeah, so it's up to the board and. So you looked at it. I I received that today. Oh. Stuff in the office. Oh. Uh, I also have the one that Lizzie gave me a while ago. Mhm. So I think with the two of them, those two options, we can make one. Mm-hmm. My preference would be that everything was on one page. Mhm. That's tough. It's going to be really, the font would be so small, you need to write the line ones. I can double-side it and have a larger font. Well, I think if you're the one that's going to generate this, I'd like to work with you to do that. Okay. And then we have it, it, it nice. together. And it's been a while since I've looked at this thing. Mm-hmm. The font's not bad. No, that was two-sided. It was way too tiny. Yeah, one-sided, mm-hmm. you're just not going to be able to do it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You do like you have uh, another project? <laughs> <laughs> you have an eight, uh, what, what's the, that. 11 and a half by 17 printer? Yeah. Okay. So we could make it really large. Mm-hmm. I mean, really large. Are there any done? Papers expensive. Pardon me. Well, my seventeen papers expensive. Oh, sure. <laughs> I'm just getting this, and then I have to upload it into the system. So this well, is just for them checking boxes. Yeah, I know. I have mm-hmm. to. I know. So then you'll be. Will well, you I be scanning it, it, or will you be like? Really no, I can do it. Oh, That's what I was going to ask. Calls. If you need, um, you know, like, how much time do you spend on culvert cleaning? <laughs> well. 
grant make garage well grant work when we Even first started this oh yeah I know, know. we were still utilizing mm -hmm. the uh, eight hours a day or 12 hours a day mm -hmm. and just having the guys sign off so mm -hmm. the select board actually started with the auditors the auditors and the select board back then mm -hmm. thought it would be more prudent to understand which roads were worked on and on and on and on so that was the genesis of this document and it was utilized until I don't know, four or five years ago when we got off the board, I think, Michael. And uh, so it worked for about five or six years, and it's just a matter of just putting in a couple of hours here or there. And we had, I think, Tim Neal was the one who would actually enter it in. Yeah, he's, he's pretty computer savvy. Mm -hmm. So he would enter it in for everyone, mm -hmm. at least in that particular room. Mm -hmm. But perhaps some other arrangement can be made where you could just enter it in manually and someone at the town office could then digitize it and upload it for grant work, you know, just... Hauling sand. Hauling and the biggest sand. thing was hauling sand. I yeah. mean, how much time we spend on hauling sand yeah, that was when we could be paying out <laughs> to have it hauled and working on... Yeah. And yeah, as it turned out, it. I remember we did that study, yeah. as it turned out, it's cheaper to have someone else. So, yeah. Time consuming. Yeah. So anyhow, you know, so, wh wh every, however you want this, it's not me, it's up to you guys. Just. But this doesn't give you, this doesn't say what road was being worked on or what truck was being worked on, right? It's just, was that part of the, the well, plan? Well, there's or? another form, believe it or not, that has truck that maintenance thing. schedule that we created mm. and that was done by truck and actually by equipment mm. you know it could have been the grader it could have been front end loader or whatever mm. and back then typically one person would have a truck so if greg had say truck one so if greg's truck he would maintain it he would put the mileage in and all that just on a form and I don't know if I've sent you that one. Or yeah, they fill it out and we up and Pam yes. uploads it yeah. into the spreadsheet. So that gave an annual report of how many miles the truck was driven, how many gallons of fuel it used. So that's still being done? Yes. Oh. So. Mm -hmm. Good. But this using 11. But the grants, we can specifically put in what road or. If they're doing projects, all you have to do is add a special item line to that, mm. but you can't make it smaller. Mm. So if we add more, it's just going to, yeah. Yeah. Do a lot. yeah, I mean, the grants, we, we keep track of them. We keep track of Thank the you. man time, the machine time, all that, because it's part of part of the information mm -hmm. need for the grant, for our cost share. So that's our that's being tracked already. I'm, I'm not I'm not fighting this. I'm, I'm really not against mm. this. I just want it simple. We mm -hmm. do this every single week. I want it simple. That's all. I just need you know. I'll try to give you what information you're looking for, but we do this every week, and it needs to be simple and easy. That's what I'm looking for. So that's why I'm interested in working with Skip if he's going to put this together. I think we can put the information that is asked for on one sheet. Skip, and then I have, have a bunch of I have a bunch of copies and I fill it out for every week and the guys fill in their information and I sign it at the end of the week before I mm -hmm. pass it into the office. So the only thing I saw that's on the second sheet is a cumulative amount of hours. There's that is my work, yeah, that's my calculations to compare where the auditors could compare that yep. to what I have in the books. Yep. Ta da! And it, yeah. So, mm. so it's nothing really, on one page. It's nothing really to enter on the back side of that second that's sheet. That's just the totals. That's just. Gotcha. Um, okay. So that could even, yeah. like. Because it would give me, if they did it digitally, I would have the answers on the back. Uh huh. Ah, just sick time, vacation time, whenever you're. Yeah. And the third are you doing it? Uh, physical piece of paper yep. and, and it's all on it. one so, side. Yes, I mean the digital component would be in the computer. Oh, it and, is. Yeah. And what the real crew has to fill out would just be a it's single just page. Side. Oh. Okay. Yep. 
Yeah, because that second page is just cumulative totals. Nothing to add to there. The spreadsheet does it for you. So Skip, you're doing a lot already. How do you feel about working with Afi on just kind of tweaking this a little bit? Well, he's um, a burden anyhow, working. <laughs> 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 no, it's fine, because he and I have been working, I don't know, since last August on this FEMA thing. Mm -hmm. So this will be just, just, just one more thing. It won't take long. <laughs> oh. uh, it's just a spreadsheet. But you guys have to decide what you want. You know. Well, you are the boss of it. <laughs> yeah, but why, we don't know. I don't know everything that they do. I don't, anyways. I don't know everything that they do. And this is just to maybe you should shadow him. Yeah, <laughs> I couldn't even get up in the truck. I'm a ride along. Bring a select over the work day. Yes. And that wasn't done in a vacuum either. No. You know, back back then, I think Greg Parkhurst was the road woman. So we sat down with him. Mm -hmm. So asked him, what do you do? And mm -hmm. from that conversation, or several conversations, that form was created. Doesn't we have don't anything about coffee that. breaks that or anything like that. <laughs> mm -hmm. but, yeah. I mean, to me, not knowing what you guys do, this looks great, but if you have things that you think should be on here that aren't, or things that maybe are on here and don't need to be. I guess the only suggestion I might put in is like a blank line for like other that mm -hmm. you could write in, mm -hmm. you know, something that's not on here. Um, yeah. Well, what do yeah, we want? There's, there's things of that <laughs> nature every day. Uh -huh. I mean, there's nothing there about talking on the phone. And I do that in a lot of a lot of the time of the day. Yeah, you're right. There isn't. I mean, so, you know what I mean? But yep. are you going to list everything that I do in the daytime? Administration. I don't think you have enough room in that, on that. I'm sorry. I'm, you don't. This is, yeah, but we're going, this is like minimal detail compared to not knowing what you do all day. That's the problem, is that in order for them to be functional and to save money, we got to figure out what we can, we can't do that by looking at the timesheets that just say, I worked nine hours today. What'd you do? Follow me around? <coughs> no. I start at three a lot of days. I'm following you around and you'll That's know. not the point. They hide. Okay. Come on board. <laughs> um, so, Alfie, if we put a column for administrative, which would cover any, whatever, phone calls, mm -hmm. office work, whatever, um, is there anything else I mean, I guess you and, to me, like, you and Skip could sit down and, like, work this out, add things as needed, because um, right. you're... Like I said, in the beginning of this, there's two of those options that were generated somewhere from the office, or I think Skip may have had a hand in both of them. I don't know. There's only mm -hmm. one. They're there's the two. There is okay. two, because okay. I got one from you today. And it's I got one, one from Lizzie the other day. It's I think mine looks same. different. I think it looks. It's very it different. Maybe the color, but yeah. It's. I it's went through similar. it very distinctly today. Okay, I looked at it after you gave okay. me your copy. I looked at it. It's not the same. Okay. So why can't we put the two together and look at the both of them and make one out of the two? Yeah. That's what I'm asking. Could you send me both? Sure. Yep, so the, actually, I'm pretty sure the one I sent, Alfie, came from you, but I will find it and I will resend it. I also that didn't... That might have been the truck maintenance. So I think I sent you mm. one of these on the truck I think it, it was definitely a timesheet, um, and yeah, I'll find it, I'll resend it. Um, but I guess, like, if you guys can take both and put them together yeah, and together. come mm -hmm. up with something that works... If you don't mind, Skip. Whatever the select board wants. <laughs> Something that is functional would be great. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, I think it's working now, honestly, but the time cards that we have, I think they're working. The biggest problem I see is that when people have questions, which they're, they do, like, we, I don't have answers. I don't know yeah. what to tell people when they're asking questions. 
Right. So, so when you get a phone call, you're gonna you're gonna look at my, all of our time cards. No, <laughs> but I mean, you're not. Yeah. we so could. It's right right easier right. to call me, and, and I can explain to you. Mm -hmm. Call the garage. One of the guys can explain to anybody what we're doing and why why we're doing it that way or whatever. I don't yeah, know. which is what we're, like we're all I think currently yeah. doing that. But I just one of the things I keep hearing is that. Um, the select board should have a better handle of what the road crew is doing. I've been hearing that repeated to me from people. And I mean, it is true that like, I really, I don't know what you guys do, you know, cause I'm at work and you guys are at work and we get the road report, which is good, but it's just not very specific as far as like day to day stuff. But the reason for this is not to satisfy the public. The reason for this is, to tracking. have better planning tools, right? Well, it could be for so, anything, you know. Yeah, but it's really fundamentally for tracking, tracking the costs of all the different things that you guys are doing, so that we allocate money more appropriately. And if we have grants and aid that we can use for specific projects, we're go. we we have evidence for it. I mean, it's it, it's it's. It's just the, it's the data. It's just the data set that we could take advantage of. <coughs> and unfortunately, sometimes the granularity matters. But it can't be arduous either. So we got to yeah. find we got to strike a balance there because you guys have to do it. Um, the office has to process it, and then the select board has to figure out what the hell it actually means for where we get the money and how we allocate the money. We short the budget. Everybody's going to yell at us and yell at you so it's just it's the it's I don't know it's just one more piece of data that we can use and it's worked in the past maybe we can find a way to make it more efficient and move forward with it so so in the past when it was none of us were involved right or maybe you were when sure. it was used in the past it was yeah. yeah and was there some result or what do you mean by result? I mean, was there... As Chris said, it was more granular. Yeah. And uh, I think I still have some time sheets open. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, it's still on the, the highways laptop. That, yeah. I mean, we could pull up mm -hmm. the whole past and mm -hmm. see what they spent on what. And that's mm -hmm. what should happen. That that sheet, either the select board should request it or it should be annually. Here you go. This is what the highway spent on now. What do you mm -hmm. want to do? How do you want to change that? Data helps. I don't know when it fell. I mean, I, I, Michael, when I joined the select board, we weren't using it, as far as I know. Uh, I don't really know, but I didn't really see. Greg was us, using it during yeah. the time he was in mm -hmm. charge, so it wasn't that long ago. When I started, it flip flopped back and forth. There was like three or four different time cards that we were using mm -hmm. on okay. a weekly basis. So I think it was during that time mm -hmm. is when it started to falling apart, so to speak. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I don't know because, what. Because, like I said, since I've been here, we've been through two, at least two different time cards that we've used. Mm -hmm. So this might take somebody 10 minutes at the end of their day to go back and figure out what they did, you think? I think it would be more than well, that. Yeah, I, I don't think it's going to, once it's, once we have a form, mm -hmm. I don't think it's going to take a long time okay. to, to fill it out mm -hmm. on a daily basis. But yeah, it's going to, you got to, you got to think because our day gets, gets hectic. Hectic, it, well, it gets hectic, but it's also, we might be, we might be working on one truck one day, we might be working on the grader mm -hmm. the other half of the day, I might be on the grader for half a day, then I might be in a truck or, mm -hmm. or in a meeting. I mean, it's going to mm -hmm. be, it's going to just, it's just going to be that. Mm -hmm. It's going to be, you know, I'm going to have, we're going to have to take the minute or the time to, to spell it out. That's why I want easy. I want it clear and easy. Mm -hmm. Yep. Because this job is not clear and easy. Not any aspect of it is. So. All right. Well. And I encourage people to call me. If there's a problem on the road, I want to know about it. This it's isn't that simple. Really I just want to know about it. This really isn't about.
the, I mean, we'll hear about those and you'll get calls from me or whoever, just like we always do. This is really just about the data. It's not about... All right, but I'm hearing the reason for this is, is because of complaints and people want to know... The real reason, reason for this is... Time. The real reason for this is money. <laughs> is what? Money. Money, yeah. The real reason for this is money. Mm -hmm. Think about it. you got three brand new vehicles. So people want to see action taken with it, especially taxpayers in this town. I mean, it's... It's just a money thing. Alfie, just so you know, for the record, I'm not... I don't mean to push this um, because I'm doubting that you guys are doing a great job. I think you are. I just think it'll be good for everybody, um, including you guys, to be able to like back up what you're doing. And then there's the money piece, too, which is probably the bigger piece. Okay. Even if you eliminate some of these little things like lunch and grant work and you have an administrative, maybe if you could just try it, you know, make some changes, work, work on the categories and try it for a few weeks. You guys willing to talk about it? I'm absolutely willing to talk. Okay, about Skip. Yeah. I think, yeah. like I said, if we combine yeah. the two, happy with I that. I have copies sure. of both. Uh, Thank you. Skip and I mean, I'm going to bring them both. Thank you. Okay. All right, let's move on. Okay. Uh, Skip, would you be willing to be the recovery officer's sure. report to date? So and I can answer your question that's on here right from the start. Um, no, we haven't see, received that money. Right. And I was wondering. It was VASA. Yeah, well, not VAST. VAST? VAST? It's really no VAST. VAST. It's no machine called VAST. It was VAST? It was VAST? Yes. It wasn't the VASA group. VASA is the four-wheeler group. There's the four-wheeler group. VASA is the four-wheelers. Right. Four -wheelers. right. I thought it was. You know, were you actually getting the money from the mountain containers? Yeah. No, I don't fast. know whether that's they have fast. that kind of money that's or whether fast. they would get it from yeah. VAST. Well, that's yeah, no, but there's different clubs. Snow machine clubs. Right. And this right. one was coming from the one in Calus, right? I this, think so. That's the folks who came right? out of this. The mountain tamers are pretty much the group that uses this whole system. Really. But do they have the, a big budget, or did all the licensing fees go to Vast, and then they go to Vast and ask them to contribute? Is that they the ones who came up with this number? Not they us. came up with the number. They came up and said, right. "We'll help. We yeah. have. We can. We can. Yeah. We can help. Yeah. How can we fix it?" Yeah. So we, as the town of Woodbury, went to fix it. Mm -hmm. So now we need to follow up with Steve, Steve Gray, Gray. Steve Gray. Mm -hmm. and say, Steve, how about the money? Where are we at? So he did. He's the one that offered the ten thousand dollars. Absolutely. Right? Yeah. So yes. Yeah. So we just need to ask for it. I think. Yeah. We need just need to see where he's at. As you know, with his on his side of things. He did put. They did put a little money into some. Fencing or something? Uh, no, he just put like some stakes in the oh, ground okay. with yeah. reflective. Uh, they didn't do it. I mean, it was all. It's, yeah, it, they, it was, they, it they probably sense. would have done that uh, anyway. Yeah. You know, I mean, they mm -hmm. do it. They have dangerous spots on their oh, trails all yeah, over. They so yeah. yeah, they but, they haven't they haven't put it much money here oh, yet. Okay. Um, Nothing. Not to make a difference out of ten thousand no. dollars. So I think I think. Somebody needs to contact Steve Gray and, and find out. I mean, I think he was kind of anticipating helping the towns with the towns on their share, mm -hmm. given that FEMA was going to do 80 and the town was going to do 20%. Yeah. Percent that was that he was going to help with mm -hmm. that portion, mm -hmm. I think, is the way I understood his conversation. But maybe he can just cut a check for, for what he promised. And we will follow him. I don't know if that's a conversation we have to have with Steve Gray. So I'm willing to call him. Perfect. Unless somebody else wants to. I was going to volunteer, but if okay. you're Okay, you're no mobile. Are you <laughs> not this year. This oh, year, no? I'm not doing it. Yeah. Well, they don't know. <laughs> Great. Yeah. Okay. I, I just, can get my call. Do you want to do it? I have a question about okay. the rail trail. There used to be a rail trail committee. Mm -hmm. Who's actually responsible for that rail trail? It doesn't exist anymore. It doesn't exist it anymore. Doesn't, the but it is the town and board was Brian Shatney, Mike Wiswell, Jim Smith, 
yeah. Harry Daly, they just it just sort of fell apart. Not anything intentional. It, with the Hardwick, I think, still has a Ford on their end, uh -huh. and we should. You know, the, there should be one here. I was hoping maybe as a result of what we went through last summer with that, some people would speak up and, um, like, who's that guy that lives near there? Did, did, I oh, the guy that was sending all the emails? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. somebody like that. And uh, maybe... So, but is Hardwick partly responsible for the shape of that trail? Probably their section, right? Like across the town line? Yeah, only within the town. I communicated with them during the flood and they said they weren't fixing any of it. Was there any damage on their end? Heck yeah. Very little. Oh. I mean, but by comparison? Yeah. There was some. Yeah. There were gully washouts, but there weren't any landslides. There was some rotation on the top, but. Uh, nothing that mm, right. nothing that it paled mm -hmm. in comparison to what we were doing. Right, it's kind of kind of tricky to find to know where the boundary is too with very hard but not yeah. long, so <laughs> it's not marked up there. So mm -hmm. I don't know. No, there's, is it marked down yes. below on Route 14? On 14, it is. Yeah, so there's there's a there's a pin way the heck up in the woods, but oh. it's not a straight line anyway. Yeah. <laughs> or there was a pin way up mm -hmm. in the woods. It's probably rotated and falling apart. Yeah. You know? So what I'll do is yeah. look at, you know, I'll look at Skip's spreadsheet and find out how much we spent. Twenty-five thousand. That's all. I mean, in the beginning it was going to be like half a million. I'm just thinking. Oh well, that's well, that, 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 was, that, that was that was that was a permanent fix. Right. Yeah. Right, but we we did alternative fix. Right? Yeah, but that's a permanent, right? Again, talk about saving money. That saved a lot of money. There's a lot of money saved mm -hmm. right there. Yeah. By the road crew. Yeah. That with that that project plan. Just they, saying. That, that project plan. And that's that permanent, right? There's yeah. not going to be any more work on that. I don't know. Um, the trail's sitting on bedrock. It's not yeah. going anywhere. Oh, good. Yeah, they moved to Tunnel Edge. Good so work. What but they could do when you communicate with them, if you wanted to offer, uh, say, eighty-seven percent of. 25k is whatever, and the town would be on the hook for the remainder of 87.5 percent. Okay. 25k, whatever that is, mm -hmm. that they could pay that difference. Mm -hmm. You know, that might be something that would be amenable to them. Mm -hmm. Okay. But we haven't submitted that project to FEMA yet. Oh. They'll be coming up shortly. Mm -hmm. The project has been identified. Mm -hmm. All the damage inventories, I believe there are eight damage inventories, which total $25,000. So, again, 87.5% mm -hmm. of 25 k and then mm -hmm. the difference of that, perhaps they could kick in. Mm -hmm. Or put some more permanent barriers where that landslide mm -hmm. is. Yeah. That's a little bit yeah. tenuous. It, going it is, but... Mm -hmm. I think we'd be better off taking the cash and figuring out what we want to do with it. <laughs> take the money. <laughs> it's always good to take the money. I, I'm just because of that. I don't know. I, I, but I'm up for it, whatever you want. Yeah, well, so, uh, just a suggestion. No, it's a great suggestion, Skip. I agree. 3,250. I was just trying to figure out what that would be. They probably will like that number better than 10,000. Really? I would think. Well, they, they, he was pretty. Yeah, I mean, he came here and said mm -hmm. it, and he mm -hmm. was out in the field with us, and he said it, so I think we yep. try to hold him to it. Well, I'll start out. That with sounds him. good. They have had a bad year. Had a year they've had a terrible year. Sure. So, yeah. how did you get it to fit on one sheet? How did I get it to fit on one sheet? Yeah. This? Yeah. It's actually on four so, sheets. So, oh, but I mean, offered that oh, okay. 25k that right. you're talking about, right. Skip. Pardon? That 25k that you're talking about. Yes. In total cost, that includes all the other culvert work that you did on the way there. Is that what That's you're the saying? Whole job. That's the whole job. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. It's on that sheet. That no, I no, no, no. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I saw. I, I just didn't realize. I didn't realize when I first looked at that sheet that it was the entire job. I thought actually that mm -hmm. twenty five was just mm -hmm. for. Yeah. No, that was the rental. That was the machine, rental. The jackhammer. The jackhammering. Our own mm -hmm. machine. By the plus all the culverts on the way there. All the time. Mm -hmm. plus, plus all the culverts on the way. So it's the yeah. complete project. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Well, the culverts are in a separate. Uh, that was my question. Okay. Yeah, culverts. culverts. FEMA likes to have covered work as a standalone project. Okay. So what we we're doing when we're submitting 
these damage inventories or projects, we're noting which of the damage inventory includes culverts. Okay. So with that, we'll make another project for all the culverts that are being replaced in Woodbury. Oh. Right. So when you, when you said there were eight sites that were part of this project. Eight damage inventories. Eight damage inventories, totaling 25K. Right. And encompassing four sites along the rail trail. Okay. Include but some of which included culverts. Replace a two-foot culvert, yes. Okay. Uh, uh, damage inventory 136, 507. Who's <laughs> 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 counting? <laughs> So, so once again, the twenty-five thousand dollars includes the culverts. It does. Okay. It does. Thank you. Uh, sorry, that was an aside, but um, I'm sorry to interrupt. Please uh, oh, no. go go about your, your please go about your report. So, the public assistance process. I think when we first started this back in September, I showed you guys this little. I don't know what you want to call it. Closure. Push panel. Maze. <laughs> Seems like it's more like a maze. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. That's I can't do that. So we're all the way done. We started. We started back in July with the declaration. We had an applicant's briefing in August of 23. Woodbury submitted their request to be part of the public assistance process in mm -hmm. August. Again. We had a kickoff meeting in September 11th, 2023, mm -hmm. and over the fall, between September and December. We compiled these damage inventories and sat with FEMA numerous times to assign problems to them. So right now, we're in the process with project review. So project review is we have submitted five projects to FEMA so far uh, with a total outlay, if they all get uh, approved, of $89,000. Excuse me, $89,000. And the roads that we've submitted to FEMA so far are East Hill Road, King Pond Road, Cape Burke Road, Nichols Pond Road, and they're at FEMA now, and FEMA's looking at them. But in order for FEMA to uh, process these, we had to do some other work too. Hmm. And we took Brandy's FEMA book, combined it with Alfie's timesheets, with, with Alfie's crew's handwritten sheets of the work they've done, the material they used, and scanned all of that information. Okay. And the scanner still doesn't work at the oh, office. Oh, yeah. Skip Marcusani and I, uh, we were first so frustrated with that. It was awful. So anyhow, they're all scanned now, and oh. so stop so using just... the office. <laughs> My poor little scanner is <laughs> like <laughs> dying. So, so on uh, so, yeah, February 7th, I sent to FEMA, finally FEMA found me a spot to upload all these files. Mm -hmm. So I sent scanned contractor invoice, culvert invoices, engineering invoices, equipment rental invoices, material sand and gravel invoices by month and by vendor, uh, invoices for emergency cones and barriers, weekly road crew timesheets, road crew work location, calendar, and handwritten information, force account labor fringe benefit calculation that's taken their, their hourly wage, wage and then loading it with their uh, benefits. benefits. So I did that calculation, if you seem to like it. And handwritten material usage reports. So they have all that information. And from that information, with the information we sent for these roads, which Danielle Livellara made these spreadsheets, which illustrates the type of material that was used, the equipment that was used, who was on the equipment, because FEMA wants to know who was actually operating the equipment, and timesheets. So that's all at FEMA now for these five, uh, four roads. So I'm having a meeting with FEMA tomorrow. So what we're going to do is go over all these scanned invoices and these four projects that we sent to them just to make sure that we're on the same page and they can start project review 
and then hopefully between three and four months we'll have some funding mm -hmm. coming into the mm -hmm. area. That uh, new system that you came up with for um, submitting all the information that was going to be easier and clearer, but it wasn't the same as their system? Did they accept that? No, they didn't. Oh, geez. So we had... Of course not. <laughs> Danielle had created a Google Docs site, which is just a site to, you know, mm. aggregate all your... Uh, you know, all your files mm -hmm. and folders and stuff like that, but they're not allowed to get onto Google Docs. <laughs> and there was no real place on their portal for me to put all this stuff. Mm -hmm. And so this guy, we have a new project manager, by the way. This is number three. So I'm hoping he hangs around for a while. Mm -hmm. At least we got someone to sign, because the last time we met, we didn't have anybody. That's true. So with that, he found a spot for me, so, you know, he wanted all these, and you know, sometimes what you get is what you wish for. Mm -hmm. So, it's like, <laughs> I don't know, maybe a hundred documents up there now for oh, him wow. to go through. Mm -hmm. That's okay. Mm -hmm. You know, it's for him to go through, and you know, with Alfie's help and Danielle's help, and Brandy and Robin, you know, we mm -hmm. compiled all this information that they need, mm -hmm. so they have it all now, which is good. Mm -hmm. So again. Meeting with him tomorrow, and he seems like a nice guy. He used to be an engineer for Tennessee Valley Authority. Authority, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. He's from Tennessee. He likes dogs. He what? Likes dogs. Oh, okay. yeah. <laughs> he was at our last meeting. We're sitting in the town offices and. Robin's dog came in with another dog. I don't know who that dog friend was. <laughs> and uh, they were all over him. And he was mm. quite receptive. He was all over him. <laughs> so it was, it was a good icebreaker for the meeting. Mm. You always need an so he's, he's in the area, actually? He's in Williston. Great. Oh. Yeah. Close they deploy home. for six months, and then they go back home. Well, it hadn't worked so far. So. Yeah. He, this is his, actually his sixth deployment. Wow. Mm -hmm. yeah. So anyhow, he seems like a nice guy. Mm -hmm. Time will tell. Mm -hmm. And uh, so you brought this up earlier, Chris, the spreadsheet. This is the latest spreadsheet that shows all the uh, damage inventories and the projects associated with them. Right. And there's a couple of columns that I added, scope survey questions. So each of these damage inventories had scope surveys, questions, which have all been answered. Mm -hmm. And there is that term, essential elements of information. Mm. That's all in their hands now, yeah. which is good. And there's, mm. lastly, there is a, a column that says data submitted to FEMA, and there's a, a data side to that. So if you have any questions, I think I put that in my email. If you have any questions, yeah. just... Thank you for sending it along. Thank you. Keep you up to date. Mm -hmm. And so there's more. No. Yeah. yeah. So Brandy and I annually have to go through this exercise for system for awards management for the federal government. Mm. So every day, excuse me, every, every day, well, every year you have to apply or reapply to be a member of the federal government system for awards management. So our registration is up April 4th. So oh, that's that same thing. Yeah. So, mm. so Brandy and I have to sit down and we do this so we can get some funding. Mm. I'll do that this week. I'm in the office tomorrow, maybe we can look at it. Yeah. So next steps will be to continue putting damage inventories up onto, uh, excuse me, projects up onto uh, to FEMA so they can begin, continue the processing. So I'm thinking the next ones we'll put up would be, believe it or not, the Woodbury Hardwick Grail Trail will go up this week, mm -hmm. and Old Quarry Road, Blake Hill Road, and the bridges on Town Highway 23 and 24 will go up this week. Mm -hmm. Like a million dollar projects. Yeah. See what they say about that. Yeah. Well, what I'd like to know is how much do those bridge costs, bridges cost? Because there's a form for donated equipment and material. 
So FEMA is going to want to know when, we, when those bridges finally go away, a ballpark figure of how much it's going to cost to replace them. Because these, these were donated bridges, so they do have some value. So FEMA needs to know that value of the donated bridges. So they're going to give us that in money, or? I'm hoping they do, <laughs> because they're going to have to be replaced yeah. eventually. Yeah. So the the short branch, Carol Ray's branch, is, those are 5,000 a piece. I'll need something more than I'll need it. You'll need an invoice or, or a quote? Or you can get something from Dave Wilcox. Oh, Dave Wilcox? Yeah. Do I know Dave Wilcox? He's no, a forest, no, he's, he's a watershed the, forester. He's the forester. Yeah, he's, the, he's the guy that's in park. charge of those bridges. Yeah, he's the, the one that's for Can you send me his email? So I won't put you in the middle. Just send me his email and I'll ask him. Do you have it or? Yeah. Because I have it. Okay. okay. I'll ask him. Be better. Yeah, I mean the, those wooden the wooden bridges are built right in East Montpelier. Yeah, you were saying that. Yeah. Yeah. Fontaines. Uh, Fontaines. The steel, the yeah. Fontaines. Mm -hmm. yeah, the steel bridge is. I'm not sure where that's manufactured. I've got. I took pictures of. There was like tags on it. So oh, okay. I have the company name and all that. So I could probably research that as well. Okay, that'd be great. So, while we're talking about bridges, <laughs> I just reminded you reminded me. Um, I on Craigslist, there's a bridge. I think it's Ludlow has a bridge that they want gone. Mm. They have funds that will help pay for it to mm. be gone. Mm. Mm. I don't know. Do you, the select board want me to research that and see if it's something we can use? It's like 35 feet long. Okay. And the longer, the better. And both of the sites that we are working on, mm -hmm. working on, because the longer they are, the further away from the water. From the water you can be. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, so then you're doing all your work, work, work on the outside, out, mm -hmm. out the away from the water. Mm -hmm. I don't know any details. It was just a listing on Craigslist. And, um, take a look, please. Check it out. The, yeah. mm. Please take a look. Okay. I appreciate it. Will, that, will what you submit to um, FEMA about the bridges include that estimate for the million dollars? No. No? Okay. Unless you want me to. Well, I mean, they, they they need to. I thought they needed to have a placeholder. A yeah, number. It is a placeholder. Right? So it is. The select board has somewhere. to decide whether or not they're going to go through with it. So what? The select board would have to decide whether or not they're going to pursue to install those bridges that would cost approximately a million dollars. No, I think we're going to have to replace the bridges, but we're not going to do it for that. I mean, we're going to right. look for other alternatives. <laughs> but Diana, you're absolutely right. There is a placeholder there for the replacement of the bridges. Yeah. Okay. And what I have assigned in terms of monetary value is one is $542,614, and the other one is Four hundred and fifty-seven thousand six hundred fourteen. Yeah, okay. Gracious me. So. So that's why we asked for the estimate and that from uh, DeWolf, and that's what they gave us. That's we correct. We needed a something for by a certain date, right? That's correct. Okay. Yeah. So I have that. That's Don't all we? part of the package for both of those bridges. Okay. But you know they would want some sort of indication whether or not the bridge was actually going to be replaced. Mm -hmm. I would need an invoice and a check from Brandy and some sort of time reporting for the work to install the permanent bridge mm -hmm. and any materials used you know, to do the installation. We're going to have to get a design from an engineer before we spend that much money, even, if, we, right. even if it's only $30,000 instead of right. $400,000. Yeah. That's in process. You have time. Yeah. Yeah, until okay. January 2025. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not, that not even a year. <laughs> not that much. <laughs> time flies. I'm going to try to get Matt Nate to nail down something. I don't know whether he has a contract he can send us to get well, on he, his... He, he can send an email saying that he was going to have some time. Yeah, he said like late spring, late spring early, early, summer. early summer. Yeah, but yeah. I'd like to get something a little more definite than that. So we know we're yeah. on his calendar. 
Right. Right. I'll work on that. Hmm. question for you too before we move on to another category. Mm -hmm. So when I call Stephen Gray, um, I know they promised to help us with ten thousand dollars, but going by Skip's math, mm -hmm. if he must pay in for eighty seven percent of the costs, mm -hmm. that doesn't come close to ten thousand. Mm -hmm. Um so it doesn't feel like I should ask them for more money than No, I think you should start out by saying, what about that ten thousand uh dollars? -huh. And then <laughs> <laughs> and then, and then, if okay, so I and then if he squeaks about <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying now? Like I, I don't know if we should accept ten thousand if no, we aren't no. actually on the hook for that. No, I would just so they're technically not on the hook for anything. That's right. Mm -hmm. right. Yeah. Right. But they so, did make an offer. But they made an offer. They made an offer. Right. And it was pretty clear in this conversation that he would be willing to pay for or help pay for the town's component, mm -hmm. part of it, mm -hmm. portion of it. And I'm sure they'd be so, happy to give less. And than in time. fact, we might give more than 87 and a half percent, but we're not going to know that for a while. Mm -hmm. So we don't, don't worry you about that. You should mention that. They uh, came out with an email last week saying that for certain categories, category A, which is debris, debris removal, and category B, anything that is temporary, they will pay for 100%. Oh. And that kind of rankled Danielle and I, because in our little spreadsheet, we have temporary and permanent fixes. Mm. So temporary, Alpine and his crew rushed in and got the roads passable. So it's a temporary fix. No overtime hours involved. However, FEMA would not accept them as damage damage inventory because there was no overtime hours involved. What? Yeah. What? Yeah. That doesn't make sense. Well, tell me about it. Okay. So anything that was category B has to include the work effort has to be all overtime hours. And wow. it says right in their little pamphlet. And one of the former project manager is alerted us of that. And she said, when we started filling out the force account labor summaries, it was like, where's the overtime out? I said, well, they broke food, didn't work any overtime, worked regularly. She said, well, then they won't accept it. They didn't oh work any overtime. And to me, that is just nonsensical. Yeah. Yeah, what about all the road work that didn't get done all summer while they were doing everything for FEMA? So, but anyway, you can. So what they did, is FEMA, and she got support from her supervisor, is she changed all the category Bs, which would be temporary fixes, to category Cs. Okay. That would allow us to be paid. And category C is permanent fixes? Permanent, yeah. And which they were? Mm -hmm. I mean, except for the bridges. Well, they're all categorized as Cs. Yeah. We only have one A, which is East Hill Road debris removal. Mm-hmm. And that's for a whopping $2,526. Uh, <laughs> Go figure. Yeah. So it was pretty frustrating when we were told that. We had really? to go in and redo a lot of work. Hmm. Well, they told us at first to do everything temporary and not make it permanent right away, right. but... Yeah, they've been playing, changing the rules yeah. as we go through this. Mm. I mean, I assume that that, I guess that that was because, so that when they came to look at it, they could see that it was damage that was that fresh. Was, that not was my good. interpretation of Yeah, yeah, I thought that was why they wanted that, but right. why do it twice? Well, they also want photos, too. Yeah, that's true. That should have been enough. Well, they want photos, they want lot long coordinates. <laughs> Top and bottom. Pardon me? Top and bottom. Yeah. Mm. Not just one cord. Mm. Anything over 200 feet. You need a beginning and an ending. <sighs> so that, in a nutshell, is the FEMA report. <laughs> and I won't be here for the next six weeks. Mm. So I'll send you a... Just a report. 
You mean you won't be in Woodbury or you won't be at one of our meetings? Both. Oh. Mm -hmm. You want any more exciting? No. <laughs> <laughs> huh. Okay. Well, Can I, I jump in? Yeah. Yeah. Is the select board going to do advertising for opposition? We yeah. got it, right? Well, yeah, we yeah. should have talked about Sooner that than one. later. Under the road commissioner <laughs> report. Mm -hmm. Yes, my bad. I should have remembered that one. Uh, yeah. yeah, we're down in the cloud man as of uh, February 23rd, mm -hmm. last night. Mm -hmm. So, how many locations? Do you have, an, you, you have an advertisements from times we've done this before? Oh, yeah. Yep. Oh, okay. Full time. Um, yeah. Um, times Argus is our official paper, but the world is good, too. And the Caledonian, yeah, I don't know. It's like a little far, right? Yeah. Although they do sell it in Marshall and Hardwick, which they don't sell the do news and citizen in Hardwick. But uh, anyways, maybe news and citizen instead of Caledonian because it's more likely to get somebody from Morrisville area than St. Johnsbury. I haven't looked at that old ad in a long time. Well, it's, we'll scan it and send it. Maybe we will. <laughs> Our scanner's broke again. <laughs> Just take a picture of it. <laughs> oh. Screenshot. Screenshot it. That's what I had to do today for people because yeah, I couldn't scan, so I still had to mm -hmm. screenshot it on my phone, and then now they've got mm -hmm. my cell phone yeah. <laughs> and my email. <laughs> I yeah. noticed that when um, CV Fiber is out playing around, it's messing up with internet. Really? Yep. Because yep. mm -hmm. they aren't really hooking it up. Yeah, it's, it's happened at the up. office and it's happened at my house. Mm -hmm. Really? Yep. What's well, it doing? Just disappearing? Knocking us right out. Mm -hmm. Disconnecting us. Huh. Oh, they're just hanging on. Yeah, they aren't really connecting to anything. So I, I don't think it's, you can it hang could it be. out the CV fiber. They're just Unless putting it, up the fiber. It could be scoping drop or something. And let's see. Hmm. Make a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's right. That's a good idea. Hmm. Hmm. Huh. Huh. We can report it. That we've had consequential internet loss. But we don't know for sure. But we don't have really any evidence. I mean, yet. they were working around my house. They never lost internet access. Mm. How many weeks do you want to start off with the, the ad? Uh, I think we did three in the past. That's my record. That's maybe and for the mowing mm -hmm. RFP? One day per week mm -hmm. for our town stuff. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't put that. I don't know if we need to put that in the paper. What, the mowing? The mowing. Well, well we have to advertise it yeah. somewhere. Okay. Yeah. We don't have to do all of these. Yeah. Yeah. There's no point in doing yeah. California Record or News and Citizen. Um, I mean, maybe for the for the mowing, just Times Argus in the world, and then up on the town website. Mm. So as of now, um, the highway position three weeks. Did once you a guys? Week. You guys chime in? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that sounds good. Once a week for three weeks. And do you prefer a day of the week better than others, like a Friday? Is there a day that's typically more red than others mm. that you guys know of? No, uh, I don't know. Saturday, Sunday? I don't know. I don't have an answer. Mm. Uh, so mowing, do you want, how long do you want the mowing up for? And we have to have a date, we have to, you know, all this good yeah, stuff. Yeah, I have to, uh, I don't have an answer right now. I'll promise I will, I'll send you something tomorrow after I have some sense of it. I just want to compare it to what we've done in the past. And right. I just, I don't have that in front of me. I don't want to do it too much differently. 
Because it's always expensive. Mm -hmm. It is very expensive to advertise. Yeah, maybe they, maybe whoever the cemetery gets would like to add in a, 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 have an addendum. <laughs> no, I'll definitely get a quote from them. Yeah. yeah. What about putting a, um, is there somebody designated to put that stuff on Front Porch Forum, or should one of us do it? Skip has in the past. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm filling you with his eyes right now. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. It doesn't, la it doesn't take long. That's very easy to put on Front Porch Forum. Yeah. Everybody yeah. Anybody yeah. but me, because mm -hmm. I apparently have expired my postings. Oh, and right. oh no oh, kidding. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. I, gotta, yeah. I haven't, yeah. I haven't yeah. done anything. There's no act. I haven't done any action, so yeah. Have you done any action on it? Post or, yeah. So hmm. they send a thing to your email saying, do you still want to be part of this group? <laughs> oh. Really? A front porch forum? Because <laughs> I don't do any activity. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the one I'm more concerned about is the town road crew yeah, member. Yeah. That's the one that I want to prioritize. Mm -hmm. uh, so that one, I would say three weeks, let's do it on Fridays. Mm -hmm. That way it has circulation over the weekend, basically. We should probably put that on Front Porch Forum Absolutely. ASAP and also the um, Facebook page that Gary Clark runs. Yep. Yeah. Uh, I just need to see that. I, can you send me the ad? Yeah. Yeah, just take a picture of it. I'll retype it and then yep. with any modifications and pass it around. And then we can get that up. Okay. Is that so fair? Mm -hmm. Cool. Skip, I don't even know if you were done. I mean, <laughs> done talking. Uh, He's sleeping with his eyes open. <laughs> <laughs> they used to lose. Yeah, you know, I think I'm done. Um, again, any questions? You know, there's a meeting tomorrow. And uh, the stuff we, we put up represents about one third of our total mm -hmm. cash outlay to repair the roads. Mm -hmm. So we're a third of the way there. So while you're gone, is that still going to be ongoing? Oh, sure, Danielle. Yeah, Danielle's gonna always, scan always there. Like oh, scan great! Out. Did you ever get the the tech person from the copier company that was gonna come? No, no, they refused to come out. Refused. To, they refused. So Skip Arcasani and I they tried, 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 and tried and tried and tried oh. and tried. Oh. And the uh, lease is up in December, so yeah. Are we gonna let that go and get something different? Yeah. That's that's still totally frustrating. It's very frustrating. Yeah. yeah. Mm. I think it's time to go to Staples and get a three hundred dollars snap scanner. Mm. They're fast and efficient, and then this problem isn't something that we have to live with for another eight or nine months. Right. Mm -hmm. It's plug and play. Scanners are they're not expensive. And yeah, and the snap scanners are so easy. Get one that really just get one that will scan this. No. Well, that's, that's <laughs> maybe in two sections. <laughs> Can't do it. Can we use our money for that? Sure. Hmm? I don't see any reason why not. Yeah. They have yeah. to prove it, but... Yeah. You don't have to get it. I mean, just for a piece of equipment that's less than $500, I don't think you need Well, to. no, I just mean the board has to approve it. Yes. Before I go mm -hmm. ahead and please, add it to my car. Mm -hmm. Please <laughs> go look at Staples. Well, I would have Skip Marcasani who does our... Okay. Yeah. But not a flatbed. Something that is a snap scanner. Okay. Okay. Snap scanner. Yeah. What'd you call it? Snap scanner. Just load things right in the exactly. top. Exactly. That's what I want. Like 25 pages, boom, 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 mm. boom. Done. Mm. Done. Snap scanner. Snap scanner. Yeah. yeah. Jujitsu scan, scan snap is one of the ones that we've used. Fujitsu mm. scan snap. Oh. It, it was, and it was, it was like 300 bucks. Mm. And you can get through hundreds of pages oh, in no time at all. Hmm. And it's <laughs> absolutely it's, gone up it's, absolu it's summer, absolutely yeah. it's absolutely worth it. I didn't realize that we were still we were still fighting this problem. Oh, I had no idea. Yeah. It's, it's so it's, yeah. if you have to go through skip he's probably gonna buy something <laughs> through his account and mm -hmm. it might be expensive, but tell him we yeah. 
Well, yeah, he, have to do that. he'll look it up and, yeah. Mm. But that's another thing is that finding somebody permanent for IT because he doesn't. Right, right. We have to advertise for that too. Okay. We'll advertise for that locally first because we're not really prepared to offer somebody a job. It's just kind of a part time. Hourly wage consulting contract. Okay. All right. Thank you. Done. Done. Safe travels. Safe not travels. Safe mm -hmm. not. Safe. Safe doing whatever you're going to do for the next six weeks. Ms. Diana, you had uh, this appointment to Oversight Committee? Yeah, I did uh, issue the RFP last week. I sent it to all of the approved reappraisal companies that were located in Vermont. I didn't go beyond that. So there were about maybe eight of them. Uh, and I noticed on the state paperwork that they want you to have an officially appointed um, committee to overlook those. So I, uh, the two who have agreed to help and have been helping are John Reed and Steve Freihofter. So I would suggest that, that we appoint them to be our, our, our reappraisal subcommittee along with the listers and myself. Make a motion to approve. I'll second that. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. That means that John Reed and Steve Fackner um, will join Diana and the Listers for appointments to the Reappraisal Oversight Committee. Okay. Okay. Super. So, you want to have another special meeting to go over? I've really narrowed the personnel I, policy. I, 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 saw, I, I saw your, I didn't get a chance to really yeah, get into detail. I've really it, narrowed it down to the last. To, to the parts that we have to really tangle with. A few parts. That was the form that we had for the employee time, time off request. Oh, oh. thank you, Randy. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I'm sorry that we didn't see this before. No, it's in the vault in the oh. okay. highway folder. <laughs> um, I would rather do a special meeting to just deal with this. Okay, so um, how, how, it shouldn't take more than an hour. Yep, but it's I'd not going to happen. I'd like to get it done so that we can hours, go so. and uh, approve it at the next meeting. Yep. Um, yeah. Anybody who has not printed out this uh, four-page summary? Uh, I have it. Yeah, I'll take one of those, please. Here, oh. one for you, one for you, one for you, one for you, and for Michael. Oh, do you want to see this form, or do you have it over there? I do not have that. That's the, the, what Diana put together is basically a boil down of the things that are left, essentially. Yeah, open I, print, I, I printed this out. Gets, I had yellow, you know, yellow on the screen, but when I printed oh, it out, yeah. it came out gray. But then when I made copies yeah, down at the office, it didn't come out gray. That's funny, mine came out in a better font. Then oh, really? Go <laughs> figure. Uh, okay, and the other thing is just a copy of um, most of, except for the last few things, the draft. So we just all have something oh, okay. to. I printed it. Okay. I didn't put this to Brandy and Robin, so we're all working with the same thing when when the time comes. Thanks. Michael and Alfie. So when's a good time to have another meeting? If we could do next Monday. 
you have this? Uh, I can't do next one. Okay. No. Well, you're Mine, the font different. came out different, okay. and when I printed the other one, it looks different, but it's the same. Mine doesn't have the February 10, 2024. Oh, okay. I, didn't, I didn't print out the table of contents. Yeah, but mine doesn't right. have that. I just put that on there today. Oh, so in the email that I got, that wouldn't be on there. Right. Right. Yeah, okay. So it's all it's the same. <laughs> So okay. Okay. Yeah. I'll get. I'll trust it. It's the same. So Tuesday next week. Uh, probably. Hold on. Yeah. That'd be what the twentieth. I think I'm good. Oh no. Oh, no. Yeah. 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 <coughs> you guys would be working, so you would be there. Yeah, I I should be able to do that. Mm -hmm. I think. Okay. I think. Twenty. Uh, write that down. That's six. Hmm. That's six. Yeah. I, I can't make okay. it before six. Yeah. So. At the town six. office. Six. Take a motion to adjourn. I will second that. No one moved that. Wait, you didn't. Oh, you didn't make it. You were gonna. Okay, I'll make a motion to adjourn. I'll second it. <laughs> I always get confused when you say that. I always think you're making the motion. Stop this in favor. Okay. The meeting is adjourned as of three. Excuse me, seven thirty-seven on the twelfth.